Come to my YouTube channel. It is another wonderful day. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to design a book cover, just the front page of a book cover that you can publish on Amazon if you are doing a Kindle direct publishing. Sit back and enjoy this wonderful tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Without any further ado, let's get into today's tutorial. The first thing we need to do here is to set our page. We are going to set our page to the size of a book cover. Let's do that now. We go to these three dots. Image. Then you go to image size. Now we have width, we have height. We are going to set our height to 2560 and our width will be 1000. 600 height 2560 and our width is 1600 press ok now this is our page size this is our page size and the reason why we need to set the page is because if you want to print your design you can easily print it out without any problem so i'm going to delete this Now let's change the color of our background. I'm using a murky or white background. Let's, let's use a white background. Change the background color. Come to color. Now I'm using white. White. So press OK. Now I'm going to add text. Come to text. Add text. Understanding the stand, the standing press here to make it uppercase as okay. I'll drag it a bit. Now I'm going to change the font style. Or to change the font style, click on font. Now just look for something nice. Let's look for something nice, a nice font, a very simple and nice. Okay, I'll go with this. All right, this font is okay. Now, if you see. I want to increase the height of this text. Now, the secret here, what you need to do to increase the height of this text is very simple. I'm going to get the shape. Get the shape. This is my shape. I'm going to reduce the opacity of that shape and also reduce the opacity of the line and press OK. I'll reduce it, bring it to my text, bring it to my text, and I'll go to this right angle, click this side, and I'll merge the shape and the text. Merge, press OK. Now I have succeeded in merging the shape and the text. Now it has given me the opportunity to drag my text from the middle. So I'll increase it. It's okay. Click go. And now I have to centralize it. Now we need to change the color of this text. Because we have added it, we have merged it. A shape to this text you cannot apply color when you click here you will not see the option to apply color on your text so what you need to do is you come to this place color we have come to this color click on color 
you enable color it will give you the right then now you can easily change the color to whatever color you want to use i'll just go to radiant click on this plus sign i want to use all's blood and red let's get our color i think i'm using this okay and for the second color going to use lighter red adjust it a bit then I use, use something from the middle let's adjust it a bit Add another one. Press OK. okay. Let's reduce it a bit. Adjust it a bit. All right. I think I'm okay with this. Now we we'll add another text. Edit text, addict, addiction, turn it to catalog, don't forget, uppercase, sorry, make it uppercase by clicking on this double T here, press OK, increase the text, to increase the text, let's change the font style we are going to use the same font style as the first one the same font style as the first one all right so i'm going to do the same thing here get a shape I'm going to get a shape i will reduce the opacity of that shape also the line press ok i'll just reduce it bring it here then i'll go to this place to match both match it press ok i can increase my text a bit I'm going to use the same trick on this. Go to sorry, I have to click it. Go to color, enable color, gradient, and this is what we are using. Press OK. I've got in my text. Now the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to get another text. Let me centralize this object. Center, we do the same to this. Center, okay. Press OK. I'll just adjust it a bit to align it. All right. Now, the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to add another text. Another text. Edit text. No. Science comma right enter no stigma press OK now increase this move it here. I'm going to change the font style. I 
in the font style i'm going to use something nice let's use something italic all right i need something that is not that thick let's get something very simple something very simple and like this let's just go with this press ok i'm going to reduce this size then i'll centralize it that is make it test to be at the middle yes now i'm going to increase the space of the text let's say plus 10 then i reduce the size it here that's okay i think i'll also reduce line spacing okay i also increase sorry use the line spacing and also increase this to say 20 20 is okay all right perfect now the next thing i'm going to do you know most of our books these days we has image i'm going to get an image to add to this book let's get one image go to plus sign from gallery from gallery So this is the image we are using. Press OK. So we are using this image for our book cover. So I will just reduce it. So let's centralize it. All right. So now I'm going to add a little shadow on. Add a little shadow. I think this is okay. Just it a bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the author's name. Let's just get anything from my head. Let's see what we're using. I'm going to go to text. Bring it here. Text. Let's get something. Doctor John Smith. it and uh, dr josh josh Mont. make it to be capital letter and press ok and uh, let's just Let's reduce the size. There, then I'm going to put it here. Let's get change the font. I'm going to use that same font because I don't want to have so many font style on each on a single design. So I'm going to use that same font. Is okay. So I'm going to try it. Then I will increase the spacing probably to now. Let's make it five. That's okay.
and I'm going to add something like another test above edit and you say best let's use best selling authors press ok going to use the same font like i said it is good to do your design probably when you are doing any design at least if you want to use font don't use too many different font on a design you can pick two to three font style to use on your design that shows how professional you are so let's continue i'm going to change this font style to that same font press ok so i have this i'm going to reduce the size all right then of the spacing i'm going to make this version to be i think 10 is okay press ok then centralize it Press OK then the color to change the color to black. Alright, we are done. This is the most simplest way to design an eye-catching book cover for yourself and for your client. Thank you for watching and don't forget to drop your comment, like this video and share it to your friends and family who would love to learn how to design a book cover with their smartphone. Thank you and God bless you.